Hey, how's it going? This is Sean. Thanks for watching. Today I'm going to do a neighborhood spotlight on a neighborhood that is near and dear to my heart, Harvey's Park. So where is Harvey's Park? Harvey's Park, the uh, south end is 285, the north end is West Jewel, the east side is going to be uh, Lowell Boulevard, and the west side is Sheridan. So that's where it's at, about 4,000 brick uh, ranch style homes, and there's also a, a small pocket of Cliff May homes. Cliff May is a, a designer from California, started building homes in the 1930s, uh, kind of known for the indoor outdoor feel flow of his houses and uh, open floor concepts. So, uh, check it out. I'll put a link in the, uh, the bottom here. So, if you want to learn more about Cliff May, check it out. Uh, the market over here is fairly affordable compared to the rest of Denver. So you can still find homes in the low 300s for a single family detached home, which is uh, in staying close to Denver, it's hard to find. And then um, the appreciation is fantastic right now. Last year in 2016, it was 17% appreciation. What? That's gangster. Uh, so, that's gangster. Uh, so yeah, seventeen percent, but the, the market is catching on. Uh, average list price from the time it was listed to the time that it was sold was six days. That means if it goes on the market on Thursday, you better be out there on the weekend because it's going to go under contract the following Wednesday. So things move fast over here. So be on it. Uh, things I like about Harvey's Park: you got a park, right? It's cool. So nice park, rec center, a small little pond there. Uh, good community feel. A uh, lot of blue collar. You got a little bit of every culture uh, and demographic in this area, so it's nice. It's uh, just good feel in the neighborhood. Uh, what else? It's uh, oh, privacy. I think it's good privacy because think about it. If you're in a area of all brick ranch homes, you don't have somebody from their second story looking down into your basement or it's your basement into your backyard. So. Uh, it's like a nice little private oasis in, in your backyard, which is cool. Unless you got the guy in Home Improvement sticking his head up. Remember him? Remember his name? I'll tell you at the end if you don't. Um, things, to be, things to be aware of moving into Harvey Park. Uh, if you're used to being able to walk everywhere, kind of like I was when I lived in Capitol Hill, can't do that a whole lot here. There's some things kind of walkable, but Uber's gonna be your friend. It's a lot of residential, but you have Belmar right in Lakewood, not far away. You got South Broadway going the other way. So uh, it's definitely manageable, being that you're only 15 minutes to downtown. And then, um, what else? Oh, if you're looking to try to get to the lower end of 300,000 in the area, you, you have to look for the cosmetic work that you're likely going to have to do or the guts of the house as well. So some of the wiring is outdated and if you want that updated or have to bring it to code, that could be several thousand dollars. Uh, floors, there's a lot of hardwood floors in the area, but they might need sanded and stained if, if you, you need them all fancy. So uh, things to think about when buying in the area, but if you're willing to do a little bit of uh, upgrading or if you're looking to get started upgrading the house, this could be an area where you can get a good deal and with appreciation and the renovations that you make, uh, it could turn into a great deal. So uh, that's it for Harvey Park. I gotta make try to keep these relatively short, but uh, if you have questions, hit me up on my cell phone, uh, text me, do the old fashioned thing, call me, shoot me a message on Facebook, I don't know, the social media, just uh, reach out to me. And if you'd like an, another neighborhood or your neighborhood uh, featured on my next show episode, I don't know what we're calling these, but uh, let me know and I might be in your area soon. Thanks guys, thanks for watching. I forgot to tell you the name of the guy on Home Improvement. You think I was going to leave you hanging? I got gotcha. you. Wilson Wilson Jr. was his name. So put that in your knowledge bank. All right, now I'm really gone. Bye.